We're joined once again by Ray Lewis, but we'll start with Shannon. Shannon, what's your reaction to Cam's comments? Well, as Skip and I talked in the, uh, the first block is that Cam is in a, a different place at 27 than I am at 48, or Ray in his early 40s. So he's speaking as a brand ambassador, not only of the Panthers, NFL, but also of Cam Newton. But I found it very interesting in what he said something in there, and I listened really closely because I thought I heard it the first time, and Skip, I think you mentioned a little bit. He played it perfectly for both sides. Hmm. For the black community, he said, as an African-American, I'm upset about the injustices and the oppression in my community. Then on the flip side, to make sure that the people that's also purchasing the shoes and the, the, the yogurt we got to do right by our own community. So he appeased the other side. Mm -hmm. So he's a guy, he's like, I want to be right here. Because <clears throat> if, if I'm here, I'm upsetting the people over here. But if I'm here, I'm upsetting the people over there. So I'd just rather just stay here and just, you know, whatever side is getting upset, I'm going to jump to the other side. And whatever side that's, that's siding with me, because I don't want to get too... Because like I said, when they hired the, uh, Frank Luntz and they did the, uh, uh, the focus group, mm -hmm. The word, the phrasing means so much to different people. Mm -hmm. Because if you look, if you you read his art his article, he did, he said, "How can something one eight inch thick be the difference?" Your skin. Skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's what racism is. Right. Yep. Is that you have a predetermined bias because of someone's mm -hmm. skin, absolutely, because of their religion, yeah. because of their orientation, orientation. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole point of being what racism is in it. Textbook. Yeah. So he wants to appease everyone, but he's conflicted with how I'm black. I know they still see me as black, but how can I say this in such a way as not to offend them, but standing up for the people in my race when I know inequities and the police brutalities and what's going on in my community? So he's conflicted on best on the best way to do that. I think what he's doing now is that really he's turning off two demographic of people. Yeah. Well, listen. <clears throat> is there a right in how Cam is, is in how Cam handles this? No matter who, you said something key, right? He's trying to straddle the fence on both sides. Get it. Get it totally, right? Yeah. He is in a totally different place in life, right? Absolutely. Young 26, 27-year-old kid at the top of his career. But there's a real issue, a real issue. As a black man, you're fearful to walk out of your house now because of what's starting to mm happen. -hmm. Skip. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, let me tell you why. Man, I've been I've been doing so much like just trying to figure this out because the reason why black lives matter is because we got a heart. We got a pulse. We're the exact same. But don't make us and trick me and tell me that we're the exact same when you know you trick you look at me different. Exactly. You see? That's where that's where we that's where the issue is. Don't don't tell me I'm something and then look at me and then tell me I'm that same thing that I know I already am. So, 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 so if you can, look, it's, it's, it's 100% okay for you to say, listen, I am a black man. And you know what? Black lives do matter. And they will only matter when we start making them matter just as much as everybody else is supposed to start making them matter. But, in, in, but in, in, unless, we, unless we put some type of face around this, to, 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 to stop, and, 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 and sometimes, you know, these kids, they get into, and they read three, three texts on Twitter, and, and, and if somebody says something wrong on Twitter, oh my gosh, everybody is, is against yeah, it's, it's, a, like it's against everybody. Me. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, it, it's, uh, honestly, Joe, it's like, really? Because I don't, I don't, I don't tweet to, to, for, for, for nobody's approval. Right. right? I'm, I'm, I'm not looking for that. But what we are looking for is, it, you know, you hear everybody speaking, everybody saying this, everybody saying this. If you want to do something else, Put hashtag solution and then do something. Give me a solution to what the protest is all about. Give me a, give me a real solution 
on how can we solve this, right? There's a graph. There's a graph. I'm sitting up all night, all night last night trying to figure this out. And there's a graph, right, when you think about what, what, what white cops are doing to black kids and, 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 and what, what police are doing, period. Since, since Ferguson? Since Ferguson. That was the, that was the, that was the powder keg. We, yeah. that, was, that was the... But, they, but see, the thing you'll skip is that they want to make us think mm -hmm. that we are. Like, you know what? Hey, guys, you're making money. We treat you the same. No. But we see how you look at Skip. I'll give you a prime example. And you're going to say, I really never thought about it. Mm -hmm. Think about the terrorist that they captured wow. in, in New Jersey. Yep. Think about the blacks that killed those cops in Texas. Mm -hmm. Now, one guy they had corner had him pinned down. Yep. They sent a bomb. Yeah. They had never used this technique before, mm -hmm. but they sent the bomb around the corner right. and blew him up. They blew him up. Now, the guy in, in, in New York that set off the bomb, Engine 29, got into the shootout mm -hmm. with the cops in Jersey. He wanted him alive. He wanted him alive. Hold on. Wait, wait I missed Skip. Okay, but skip, you, you skip. know how cops feel about cop oh, killers. Well, you know skip, how they feel skip, about cop killers. Skip, just, just for... Hold up. Wow. I got into mm. a Oh, you don't think that guy in Jersey was trying to kill them cops? Oh, he was just shooting play well, just. Yeah, defended himself. But, I mean, this guy had, had ambushed, what, he killed five Dallas policemen? But, but okay. Skip. Mm. I, I got what you're saying. I'm he, with you. He's I'm into a shootout. Yeah. But, see, that just goes to show. And then when the optics of that, when you uh, see I on television, because, yeah. Skip, we're, very, we're, we're visual. We see. See, <laughs> my grandpa used to always tell me, say, boys, I see better than I hear. He said, I told you to take that trash out, and you told me you was going to do it. But I still see it in the corner. <laughs> so I know what you're telling me, America, but I know what I see. Correct. I see better than I hear. Ray Lewis, you have been like a big brother to Cam Newton. Have you discussed any of this with him over no. in, in recent days? Or So how did it hit you, your heart, when you listened to what he said yesterday? What, what did you hear from a, from a young man you know pretty well? Yeah. He don't. I, I'm, I don't want to make this kid, I don't want to make Cam a bad person trying to fix an issue that's, that's bigger than that's, Cam. It's yeah. way bigger than Cam. This is so big. And whether he says the perfect thing, Skip, it's, a lot of people still going to say he's wrong. You know, like, I, I want people to really understand something. When I, when I was growing up, Skip, there were certain parts that they told us as a black people, don't go over there. Right? Understand. Don't, don't never speak back to the police. Mm -hmm. Do exactly what they say and come back home to me. There, there, we were, there, was, there was a fear of what cops would do to you because you're your skin color, right? And, and, so, and so what I'm telling, what everybody, when jumping on Cam and whatever, listen, if, if, if Cam was right, then Cam would have a solution of 400 years. Nobody has that solution. That's because true. if we had that solution, Shay, we would have been, somebody would have said now. Yeah, somebody yeah. would have said something by now. But I think we keep, sometimes, you know, you, you worry about all these people who are talking, but I think we keep getting away from the issue. The issue is, since Ferguson, man, there's been almost over 2,000, 2,000 murders from cops since Ferguson. So sooner or later, we have to address a bigger issue, right? We have to, we have to put a monitoring system on cops, period. I don't care. Look, I, I, I have so many cops as friends. I have so many, and I'm telling you, some of the most genuine people you will ever meet in your life that go out every day and put their lives on the line Absolutely. to keep us to keep us safe. But there's a real problem within the police system. Yep. And the only way that this is gonna stop, if they start monitoring themselves, if they go through a six month, twelve month evaluation, because 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 what's starting to happen is, what's starting to happen when I was young, it's starting to happen all over again. Is that these like. People who are hate black folks, they making it known. And it's no secret no more. Mm -mm. The, way that, the way that they're killing us right now, yep. and, 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 and you can ask us to come up with the right statement, I don't think it's the right statement, because if you want the right statement, you might get something totally different than that. What Cam is going to have to understand yeah. is that no matter what position he takes, mm -hmm. he will be disliked. Right. Because right. we have revisionist history, mm -hmm. and everybody's like to say, well, Dr. King was my favorite, but Dr. King was hated by some blacks. He was hated by some whites. Mm -hmm. So, and now we look at him as this mythical figure, but he wasn't always portrayed in that light. Right. So what you have to understand, and like I said earlier, 
if it's not in Cam's heart, if it's not in his conscience right. to speak on it, just yeah. say, hey, guys, you know, I'm not there. But if you say things that you think will make you liked by certain demos, yeah. that's where he ran. See, he ran into the problem, Skip, when he said what he said. Mm -hmm. Now, if he'd have stuck with that, we'd have been cool. But he said what he said right before the Super Bowl. And then the GQ article where that racism doesn't exist. Right. And now here we are in September. He mm -hmm. says, I'm upset with what's happening in my community and the oppression that goes on. So he said this, this, and this. And they're like, well, what? Right. So what do you really believe? Right. That's the thing. What you believe, stand, stand fast. Stand for. And, and you, we, can, we can live, or Cam should be able to live to whatever he believes. But you can't play both sides. Because at the end of the day, you're going to tick off this side, you're going right. to tick off this side, and the person that's most miserable is in the middle, and that's you. And that's you. Mm. But, let, but, but let me give you just a quick stance on, on what he should have followed. He should have followed his first 30 seconds. His first 30 seconds was, I didn't read it that much. I don't know that much about it. There's one story, there's another story. So take the approach of Richard Sherman. Don't speak about it. Because if, if you find yourself in it and you don't understand right. what's really going on, right. Then you would never, you would right. never figure nothing out, right? Right. And sometimes is, is one thing I told him even even last year, Skip. Is, yep. is one thing I was telling him about. You control that podium. Absolutely. You can, when you step yep. up there, you one hundred percent control that, and that's why you got to be under full control when you step up there before you speak, right? Absolutely. And 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 if it's anything, you know, if because you, you you heard him rambling a little bit. Trying to find it, trying to trying to figure out, trying to go on both sides. If I say this, yeah. am I gonna upset that right. side? If right. I say that, am I right. gonna upset this side? But he's in a different place. He is. He's 27. Yeah. And and a 27 year old is, is gonna have a different ideology than a 48 year old from South Georgia. Right. He grew up in Atlanta. Um, now I'm sure he, like I said, Cam, if you didn't think racism exists mm -hmm. when you said what you oh. said at the Super Bowl. Jump on your timeline. When you didn't handle mm -hmm. the way they thought you should have handled the press conference after yeah. you lost, jump on your timeline. Right. I'm going to say this one more time. Yeah. It's a tough one for me because I'm not black, and I don't for one second pretend to, to understand or feel what any of you are feeling right now about this issue. But I want you to know I could not sleep last night because I could not make peace in any way, shape, or form what happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I just can't comprehend it. I can't compute it. I can't, I can't begin to explain it, maybe because I'm from the state of Oklahoma and I've spent some time in Tulsa. But I couldn't comprehend, after all the outcry that Colin Kaepernick detonated in the best way possible, all the discussion, all the focus on this issue, it happened again in the most blatant way where this woman, I don't know what she what, what possessed her. I don't know if she's racist. I have no idea. But it's sure, I, I believe this man died because of the color of his skin. Yeah. Because she reacted to the color of his skin in a way she would not have reacted to the, the white color or maybe any other color but the black color. Yep. And he gets tased, which I said, okay, I'm okay with that because he's walking away and it, there, there might be some threat there. I said, okay, I can I can sort of get that. Right. Then she shoots him, and they let him lie on the ground <laughs> for two minutes. And I'm like, what, mm -hmm. what, what have we become? Where, where have we gone? So I get it. When you, when you get out, we come here early in the morning, yeah. you get in your car, and you're driving through the darkness, I'm sure you're like, I got to be careful, man. I got to be, I, I got to, if, if I get pulled over, yes, sir, no, sir, yes. right? I mean, because you, you're to the point where you fear, I mean, you guys are big celebrities, but still, mm -hmm. you fear for your life yeah. because you don't trust the people who are supposed to be protecting you, how they're viewing you because of the, the one-eighth of your, your skin, skin color. And, and I, am, I, I am devastated by this because I want an answer, and the only answer I heard was the first time you brought it up on this show. You know a lot of policemen, mm -hmm. they have to police themselves. Yeah. If you know racists in your department, you have to call them out. You have to quote unquote rat on them, or we got no chance. Because if you don't police within your own ranks, yep. if you send these people people out with a license to kill, packing, and and this happens on a traffic stop, it's going to happen again and again mm -hmm. and again. I, I 
it has to stop, and, and it keeps happening. The Charlotte incident was a little different yeah, to me, yeah. and that's why Cam was so conflicted, right. because mm -hmm. I've heard different stories. The right. family said he had just a book yeah. in his hand, but the chief of police, who's a black man, said and the, it was a black officer shooting a black man, right? Right. Mm -hmm. right. And th they're saying, nope, it was a gun. There was no book in the truck that he was in. It was a gun. So I don't know what to make of that one, but I do know what to make of Tulsa. That That's so bad for this country. It, it, yeah. it is, Skip. And think about this, Skip. Think about this, and you mentioned something in the Tulsa situation. For two minutes, they left them. They just think, let him... We've seen cops climb a tree that's 70 foot tall to rescue a kitten. Sure. We see them go in the storm drain to get a kitten. They're ra wade in the middle of a raging river to save a horse or a cow. But a black man laying in the street dying. Dying. They did not render him aid. And he did not no. die, they said, until he got to the hospital. It's oh. almost time Whoa. Skip. Mm -hmm. Ray, yeah. Joy, a kitten in a tree, a, a dog, a, a puppy in a storm drain, a horse or a cow in the middle of a raging river, mm -hmm. and a man dying in the street. Yeah. You do nothing. Oh, just give us a little better treatment right. than you would do an animal. That's all we're asking. Right. Mm -hmm. if, you can't, if you can't look at us as human, mm -hmm. take us a step above an animal. Well, that's... It's definitely not what we're asking for. But, but, but I, can but we start are, somewhere, you, Joy? I, I, I can totally we start understand somewhere? What you're right. We're asking for equality. And none of us know what's in Cam Newton's heart, but when you are riding the fence on situations like this, you can sometimes end up doing more harm right. than good. Right. But yeah. he's going to have to speak on it nonetheless.